So, so how's my hairstyle? Hello, I'm uh, Nicholas the E, that's Elemental Emperor, if you're wondering. And today I am going to, um, hmm, what do I want to talk about? I guess today I kind of want to talk about something that I overheard while on the bus. So I'm coming back from something, uh, bored as hell, wanted to get on the bus, got on the bus, and about halfway point when this woman suddenly starts going off about the um, subway. <laughs> yeah, subway. If not even know what a subway is. Hope you all do know what a subway is, or what subway is, is a sandwich shop, which, to be honest, may be overpriced, but the sandwiches are good. I like them, I don't go very often, but I go often enough that um, I've built up a bunch of points. Anyway, um, the annoyance, uh, the woman, she, um, yeah, not that bit, I'm not saying about the annoyance, but I'm saying is the annoyance about the conversation, what the woman was talking about, was, <laughs> come on, I get that mixed up, saying I'm calling her the annoyance, although to one she was being annoying, um, she was saying, like, the way she was talking about it, she was being very, um, well, she wasn't exactly talking about it very nicely she was saying that it was a complete rip-off and stuff like that i mean sure yes you can say it's a complete rip-off you can say all sorts of things about the place but um one of the things that she said is is that the sandwiches that you don't get much for the sandwich uh, much out of the sandwich and i'm thinking what do you mean you can't get much out of the sandwich i'm listening to this conversation a bit further thinking, i'm not going to say anything because if i say something i might end up getting the wrong end of the stick I'd rather not get the wrong end of the stick. And so I continue to listen. And this woman goes on about um, that when you purchase a sandwich, that the choices are very limited. But I'm pretty sure there are around 20 or so choices. And if you want something very specific, you can just ask for it. I mean, like, if you want just ham, you can just ask for just ham. It's not that hard. And, uh, well, there was that, but <laughs> she was on about, and you don't get very much option for salad. And I was like, what do you mean you don't get very much for salad? For salad? I mean, there's cucumbers, there's peppers, there's sweet corn, lettuce, jalapenos, all sorts. And I'm thinking, that's ample choice, perfect amount of choice. I mean, she's like, you can't get a decent sandwich. I mean, it always looks so thin. And I was like, yeah, right, the last time I had a sandwich, they couldn't close the bloody thing. It was falling apart when I was eating it. I mean, literally, most of it was on the uh, on the pack thing that you get, the paper. I had to basically eat it with my hand. I was just like, eating like that. Uh, of course, it was also covered in sweet chili sauce. So that also made it a bit hard to pick up because it was slippery as hell. Uh, <laughs> but this woman she was going on about uh, subway as if there was like nothing there and th she was talking to this woman that was agreeing with her and I was like how can you agree with this uh, with these fools I mean she's talking about subway not having enough options to choose when there are plenty of options to choose plenty I mean in the UK, it's a lot less than what you'd see in America, and the sandwiches are a bit smaller because, damn, I went, when I went to a subway in America, that thing was stacked. And the bread was a lot thicker, so it definitely fit in it. At least that was the one that I went to. No idea if it was the same for the rest of them, but Jesus, bloody Christ, that was a sandwich. And the price was around the same too, so it was like... But hearing this woman going on about it and that, and I was thinking, she's talking out of her ass. So I couldn't help but say something. Slipped into the seat nearby and I went, I couldn't overhear you talking about Subway in such a way. And I'm actually kind of confused because I was at Subway this morning getting a, one of those breakfast sandwiches. And I'm pretty sure there is an ample choice of stuff that you can get. 
And she turned around and looked at me and was like, how dare you get in this private conversation? And I went, well, it's not exactly private when everyone else in the bus can hear it, especially seeing as I was at the back of the bus and she was at the front. And she just looked at me and just scowled like, if she uh, wanted to go off and that but she was shouting loud enough that everyone in the bleeding bus could hear her and I was like look all I'm saying is Subway is not that bad I mean sure the prices aren't great and not everyone could afford them and constantly and it's not really something you go to every day and you don't really need to go to it every day maybe something once a week or once a month it doesn't really matter when do you go does it but the choices are completely ample I mean there's like 20 odd maybe a little bit less choices that you can choose from uh, if you want something specific like just ham you don't want the turkey ham you just want the ham i'm pretty sure you can just have for that and she was like oh well i've uh, never seen that happen i went have you ever tried it and she went no and i went how do you know if you don't ask the questions you never know so how can you say something about a shop without actually asking the questions of whether or not you got more choice i mean everything you see in front of you if you saw down one or two can make so many different combinations. I mean, there's more than 20 combinations right there. I mean, especially with the salad, there's at least like 16 different salads there. Uh, salad items. Uh, nothing you can really say is bad or uh, is incredibly bad, and they always restock it with ease. It's like, oh yeah, but I don't like tomato. Well, then don't ask for tomato. You don't have to. You, you're the one who gets to ask for what lettuce, uh, for what um, not lettuce, what vegetables, what um, salad you want. Is what I said, not vegetables. What salad you want. And she went, well, I don't like so a lot of the salad. And I went, well, then well, how can you complain? What's the point of going to a Subway, getting a sandwich, and then complaining about it because there's not enough to go in the sandwich that looks small and a waste of money if you don't like anything from the start? I mean, how can you say you hate lettuce, sweet corn, cucumbers, uh, onions, tomatoes, uh, jalapenos? How can you say, uh, uh, and those are just some of the examples, how can you say you hate any of them? I just never really eat them. And I went, well then how can you complain? How can you complain about a sandwich shop? Not having enough options if you don't like the options. I mean, they've given you an ample uh, source of salad that you can choose from that is known by a lot of people to be liked. I mean, they didn't just pick it out of thin air and think, yeah, I'm going to have this, 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 and this. And uh, it doesn't matter if any of them like it. I mean, it's not like they looked at it and went, right, we're going to choose radishes and beetroot because nobody likes that rubbish. I mean, seriously, I mean, there are people that like it, but it's not really something having a sandwich. They chose salad items that are more commonly used by people all over. They even have a, veg uh, a vegetable option. And I'm confused at this woman. And she's looking at me and she's thinking, oh God, why have I said this now? I feel like a complete fool. And then she's just looking at her face because she looks scared. And I was like, oh God, this guy knows a lot more than I do. And I'm just literally been going about it. And she was like, okay, maybe I've been a bit, um, not, uh, I've not really give it that much of a try. Maybe I'll give it another try. And I went, well, I'm not really saying that you have to give it another try or anything. I'm just saying you can't really uh, go off and say stuff like this without actually knowing what you're talking about. I've heard everything that you've talked about to this woman here and pointed at the woman that was sat in front of her and went, and I don't know why she's agreeing with you because she's just about that. She's about the same amount of idiocy as you and you're the one talking about it and you don't even know what you're talking about. There is ample enough option. You just have to look or actually like the stuff. If you don't like it, then you can't complain. Say, oh, there needs to be more option. What else is there? What is there that you like that they could put in there? Because I'm pretty sure if you ask, maybe they can think about putting it in. But I'm not going to put it in for one person, are they? They've got to think about everyone else. Someone might be allergic to something. Somebody might just really not like something. It doesn't matter. The whole point is in that is that there's so much option than this woman was completely going on about. And I was thinking about banging my head on the seats in front of me thinking, what is this woman talking about with a dunk, 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 dunk in every single whack of my head? And I'm just thinking in my head, and I'm like, how can people like this exist? And I just couldn't stand it anymore. I was like, I go to Subway quite a bit with my friends. Like, it's basically, it's a uh, healthier option than McDonald's, KFC, and Burger King. I mean, to be honest, if I basically went, oh, I'm off out for a Subway, I'm going to get a lot more 
thumbs up, then I'm home. Oh, I'm going to McDonald's. Oh, but it's full of sugar and all that, and all this salt and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, I know. I'm about to go to Subway. Oh, but it's full of all this and that. No, it's got wheat, it's got carbohydrates, it's got very good stuff. It's basically the healthiest option of all fast foods. And they've basically made the sandwich a fast food option, but delis did that already. It's just basically a glorified deli called Subway, like the sandwich. <sighs> Imagine if that was their slogan. <laughs> Come to Subway, like the sandwich. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Uh, but, uh, it's just people like that that complain and talk about stuff when they don't fully know about it. I mean, just that is one of the smallest, simplest things about it, and one of the dumbest things that people talk about is fast food. I mean, you could say so much about fast food that you could make your head explode. And, just, for a place that I like, and not just me, but a lot of my friends as well, I just felt I had to stand up for the shop that that this, this, this uh, that, that I had to stand up for Subway and what it's about, because this woman had no inkling of what she was truly talking about. She was only complaining because there was nothing she liked to put in her sandwich, so she had this small piddly, uh, barely filled thing with the stuff that she wants. And I was thinking. Well, have you tried any of the other stuff? Uh, all that kind of stuff. She hadn't tried any of it. She literally just got the turkey and ham option. And uh, no salad because she didn't like any of it. And I was like, well, how can you complain? There's not enough option when there is enough option. There's just not enough option that you like. I mean, really? And I was like, right, well, anyway, I cannot be bothered with this conversation anymore. You've literally just made me lose faith in humanity about a sandwich shop. So I'm going to go back to the end of the bus and I am going to wait till my bus stop and then I'm going to get off. So I'll have fun and just go up walk to the back of the bus and went into my own world, ignoring the place around me. I just left her and her friend bewildered and thinking, what the hell it just happened? And well, basically I made myself feel better because of it, because... Why not make fun of people like that? I mean, seriously. They're just as bad as bloody idiots that think that you get around and go, oh, gay marriage is not allowed. Should not be allowed. I mean, literally. So many jokes can be made about the fools like that. I mean, literally, for the people that have done all the stuff, like uh, two women or two men kissing in front of a gay pride group and stuff like that. It's like, uh, not a gay pride group, um, an anti-gay pride group. Being like, uh, oh, no fags allowed. And then it's like, wait, no cigarettes? So why are you smoking? I actually did say that to someone that was saying that. Uh, and he was smoking, so it just made it a little better. And he went, what? No, no, no cigarettes. I'm talking about the gay people. And I'm like, well, no, you're not, because you're talking about fags, and uh, cigarettes are fags. So if you're talking about cigarettes, how are you talking about gay people? Well, and just basically got him confused. That was mine. He was fine then. He took his sign down. I went, I'm going to change it. And walked off and didn't see him again. But yeah, that'll probably end up in another video. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to go too into that one. But yeah, this one's just basically about a woman that I saw on the bus complaining about Subway and what a pain in the neck she was because she was not giving the place a chance just because he didn't have stuff that she liked because she wasn't going to try anything but if you're not going to try anything what's the point you can't just go anywhere and go i'm just going to get the same thing i normally get if you're going to go somewhere you've never been to been to before you don't ask uh i don't know a, a, an indian restaurant if they do burgers and pizza because they might only have Indian food on the menu. I mean, it's an Indian restaurant, so of course, it's only going to have Indian stuff on it. Of course, they may have pizzas or something on it, if by the whole restaurant standards for people that might not like Indian food, but it might only be a kid's option. And my hair really on the hell out of me. Uh, but it, it's just... People need to give places a chance. If you can't give somewhere a chance, or you can't try new things, then don't bother going to a place you don't go too much. Just stick to what you know. Only go to a place you rarely ever go to if you're going to try something new. And even if you are going to a place that you go to before, try something new. Uh, live a little. I mean, don't be like my idiot of a friend who hilariously does the dumbest thing I have ever heard and actually got a Big Mac, but he took out the lettuce, the gherkin, 
and the secret sauce. He basically just had a double stacked cheeseburger. Not a Big Mac, a cheeseburger. And it's not even cheese in it, so it's basically just a double stacked burger. <laughs> and I'm like, why on earth did you take out all the stuff? And I'm like, oh, I didn't like it. I don't like it. Have you tried it? Yeah. Well, I've never seen you try it, so how can I say you don't like it? And all you know, if you have tried it years ago, What's to say that it's not changed in taste somewhat? I mean, seriously, you don't get a go, oh, I've, I, I had a Big Mac when at McDonald's, and then suddenly take out everything that makes it the Big Mac. <laughs> so, another message to you all. If you ever go somewhere new, or somewhere you normally go, try something new. You might find yourself surprised. Because I try a lot of new things, and I'm amazed at how much, how much I like them because they are really good and if you do not give them a chance then you're not adapting and I'm pretty sure the idea of the human race is we're supposed to adapt so get out there try something new and have fun so that's up at the end of the video now I'm Nicholas the EE that's Elemental Emperor if you don't know signing out